crown him with many crowns. Hey friends, this is Crown Him with Many Crowns. In the key of G, it's a simplified way to chord along to this song. I hope you have a lot of fun. Make sure to stop the video. If you click on the description below, you will see the printable chord sheet that I have prepared for you and it'll make a lot more sense as we go along here. Okay, so in this song, we have G, C, D, and then we have an A minor, and that looks to be it. So let's go through those four chords because they repeat themselves this entire song, okay? So look for a group of three black notes, and a G note is tucked between those three. Play every other note, G, B, D, and that's a G major chord, okay? If you move up one set of notes, you're in the A minor position, so you play A, C, E, Okay, and you'll see the, um, that's the only minor chord in this song. If you move the third finger up to this black note, I think I forgot to say there was an A major chord in the song too. So it's A, C sharp, E, okay, and it makes this triangle shape. A, C sharp, E makes a triangle, okay? And then if we move to the C chord, you're in, you're looking for this group of two black notes. It's right here is the C note, so C, E, G, and that makes a C chord. And then move up one set of notes and pick up that black note in the middle again. So D, F sharp, A plays this triangle shape and that's a D major chord, okay? So for the D and the A, you're just freezing that shape in your hand and that's how you play those two chords without getting too much into the sharps or flats in songs is just to think of it as shapes. Okay, so review, we have G, A minor, C, oh sorry, A chord. <laughs> so here was minor, major, C chord, and then our D chord, triangle again, all right? Okay, so let's just talk about the pattern that's going to be repetitive in this whole song. Verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 um, is all the same. So once we learn verse 1, we have learned the entire song, okay? Let's jump into, uh, I'm going to sing the verse 1 so you can see how it sounds when we add in vocals, and then I'll break down the rhythm for you, all right? Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon throne our cow the heavenly anthem drowns all music of its own awake my soul and sing of him who died for thee and hail him as thy matchless king through all eternity all right, that is going to be repetitive, like I said, through verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that helps take out the overwhelm when you notice patterns in your music. All right, let's talk about what the left hand is going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be keeping this simple with left hand single notes, okay? So when we play a G chord, we're going to play G single note, okay? A minor to A in the bass. A major, still play that A in the bass. C. You're going to play C note and our D triangle. You're going to play D in the bass. Okay, so I like to, especially for this song, because there it, we can play all five of those notes within this hand without moving it. So I'm going to put pinky on G, line up those five fingers, and I'm not going to move this hand the whole song. Okay. All right, so let's talk about the rhythm. This is written in four, four time signatures. So a simple way to do that is to do this one to two ratio rhythm. And all we're doing is together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. You could practice that on any of those chords, just getting this nice, simple marching rhythm. Okay, so on my chord sheets that you have in the description below, I try to be particular in writing the chord above the word or the syllable in which that next chord is going to change. 
So that should help you a little bit in like you just keep going through this rhythm until you see the next chord change. And that should, for the most part, just get you into a nice seamless rhythm. All right, let's go really slow through verse one. And you know what? Since this is all repetitive through those five verses, you might want to just go through it with your right hand only and omit the left hand until you get comfortable with the right hand, then bring the two hands together. So let's just go through this right hand chord um, through, the, through the verses, the verse one, excuse me. Crown him with many. Okay, we're going to move to the C chord. Crowns the G chord. Lamb upon his D chord. Throne, hark. Okay, G chord. How the heavenly A chord. Anthem D chord drowns all. Let's pick up that left hand. Music A chord, but it's D chord. Oh, a G. Wake my soul and C chord. Sing. For D, the end. G, hail him as thy. This is just up a chord. Matchless, back to the G. King through C chord. All E, D. Turn G chord again. T. All right. So like I said, this one is pretty straightforward because there's no like chorus or bridge or, you know, verse two is different than verse one. This is all the exact same. So go back to the beginning if you need a little help. I'm going to play it beginning to end and you can play along with me. If you goof up, just pick up in the next line where you can just pick up and go along with me. Make mistakes. That's normal. It's part of the process. You can do this. I believe in you. Have a lot of fun. Here we go. Crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon his throne. Ark, how the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing of him who died for
pierced feet Fair flowers of paradise extend Their fragrance never sweet Verse 5 Crown in the Lord of years The ponentate of time Creator of the rolling spheres Ineffably sublime 